Hi there, Halo Fanatic here. I'm making a video for this guy, Epic Fail, on Steam. He doesn't seem to understand how this dim drive works. Um, simplest way I can say it is this. Let's say, okay, dim drive is off. If you were to go run your game right now, it would, well, let's say, you click on the game, it starts to open up. Your CPU talks to your hard drive. Once he gets that information from your hard drive, it goes back through the CPU and then onto the RAM. Now that takes a lot of time because the hard drive or solid state drive is not nearly as fast as communication just straightly between the CPU and RAM, which is what dim drive does. Yes, you load the information from your hard drive, but you only do it once. Okay? This is why it's fast. This is why dim drive is useful. So, we'll sit here, let's say, let's load up seven days to die so you'd click on and I'm doing more RAM so I'm doing the absolute entire game all the game files and I'm clicking on so it says here creating drive what it's doing right now is it's going to the hard drive it's grabbing all the information and it's doing a traditional copy and paste onto the RAM the dim drive once this gets done and there we go it's jumpy because I'm also recording um, so yeah, starting file transfer to dim drive. So once it gets done here, you'll quickly see creating symbolic links will appear. Okay, it was too fast. So now, just to prove that this is talking to the RAM, if we open up uh, Task Manager, you can see here 6.73 gigs it's being used okay now you can go to computer dim drive steam seven days to die there's all your gaming files now this is on your ram this is all ready to use it's not on your hard drive not anymore so now we'll go to the steam and that is on my storage, I think. <laughs> Can't remember where it's at. Um, program files. This is one game that I put on my hard drive rather than. I put it somewhere. Um. Yeah, seven days to die. So there you go. This is the legit folder. It gets renamed because the actual folder name, just so all the files and everything work, it creates a symbolic link and it goes to the dim drive. So, yeah, I'm, I don't know how else to explain it. it. It loads the entire program onto the RAM. So once your the game you know requests game files it doesn't have to go to the hard drive and retrieve let's say textures for the buildings you're looking at for instance it says okay I'm going to e steam library steam apps common seven days to die it, do it sees the link as a folder so it acts just like it normally would except it skips over to the RAM okay so everything is linked directly to the RAM. Now once you shut this off, and actually it's while you're playing, let's say you save the game, that's what this synced down here is for. It tells you what files it's syncing. So when you go to save, it'll sync it back to your hard drive. So even if, let's say, you know, you save a game in like two seconds, you know, after it gets done saving or whatever, you know, or even a second after it gets done saving, your computer crashes or whatever. Yeah your computer would crash but you'd still have your save game files that's why it's awesome but you'll click off so file synchronization or synchronizing stopped preparing to stop dim drive so now you'll see this will go away once it gets done okay I gotta go back in I think there we go yeah so now it becomes the actual folder again so everything is here these files 
just got copied to the RAM drive. They did not get deleted from here. They just got renamed to, well, what this is. But see, now it doesn't have a link. It has nowhere to go because dim drive is off. Dim drive is currently non-existent because you have it turned off. Okay? I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, let me know, okay? Thanks.